Hello everyone, Dunk Curtain here, and welcome to the Lua bracket of the Nita Cup 600k4 Top Gun Edition. Today we have eight more competitors, all with Lua enabled craft this time around, who will be going head to head in another double elimination tournament. So this is our seating draw now up on the screen. We have eight contestants. A lot of these contestants are the same ones that we saw in the first tournament. Uh, though we do have a few, a couple differences, um, a couple entries that are come from people we did not see in the last tournament. Uh, most notably is Madwand and Blothorn, who actually um, supplied the most common public Lua scripts that most of the competitors will actually be using today. So looking forward to seeing some if they can if they've uh, broken out some special Lua for the occasion and if we see any really special behavior from their craft. But first up today we will try to get through all four matches. We may split it into two. We'll um that's the decision that I'll make during editing so if so it'll be a clean cut but either way, I'll just get on to our matches. First up, we will have the Blackbird Brawler from Ryation going head to head with the Golden Chicken from Zionix, followed by the Wolf and Host from Madwand, and that will be going up against the Lua Squee from Falcon 256. We then have the Reckless Angels from Miss Ion going head to head with the Desperation from Mr. Ibina. And finally, I'm going to butcher this probably, the Mini Her Mother, Mini Her Mother, uh, that's, I looked up how to pronounce that, apparently that's right, or if you pronounce it slower, Her Mother, Her Mother, from, anyway, from Blothorn, and that's going up against the Speedy Weenus from Tajima, so we have a perfect match, um, matchup of eight contestants so four matches to begin with and uh, let's jump straight on into our first match for today guys all right guys loading in first up for our first match we have the blackbird brawler from Ryation. wow what a that is a nice design Ryation. very nice and we'll be spawning that backwards or side it said so I think we'll race off over this way to spawn its opponent and that opponent is the golden chicken from Zionix as we see the little chicken beak and um oh, I forget the crest things whatever they're called on the front here and <laughs> very entertaining design this uh, should be interesting to see how this unfolds uh, have managed to spawn them both pretty well spot on the 300 this time around for once uh, been being much more careful about this throughout this whole tournament so um, hopefully less upset even though the lower craft do have more control over their flight as it is but uh, let's speed things up and see how this first battle unfolds people so a major difference for this battle I think with the lure enabled is we're going to see a lot of missiles as they are like the only lure scripted weapon. Here we see the blackbird outrunning a lot of missiles. We got some slowdown. Maybe the chicken took some damage. Yeah we got some explosions on the tail end there. We'll go check up on that in just a moment. Possibly try to follow the blackbird's next volley of missiles in. We can ever catch up. Wow, these craft must be moving very, very fast, guys. So we got some smoke coming off the blackbird. Oh yeah, um, the not the blackbird, the golden chicken. Got a nice hole, a oh, few holes in it actually. But um, not sure. These are all the golden chickens missiles. Did the Blackbird not release any missiles on that pass? Must not have. Not sure what's going on here. Are these missiles not finding a target, I suppose. 
the Blackbird doing a very long attack run here. Um, hopefully these two reconverge soon. Blackbird has only taken a tiny amount of damage. Here we go, I think they're starting to converge again. So we see the Blackbird doing some little weaving maneuvers there to try and avoid those missiles. Not exactly working out completely. Looks like it's taken a lot of damage there. Just wanted to see if the Golden Chicken got caught by any of those missiles before I go in for a closer look. Ooh. So he's not going... Ooh, he's got some thunder thrusters keeping him up there. That's pretty cool. But uh, a lot of damage to that wing structure there. And uh, losing a fin off the top of the back there. I really like this jet design. <laughs> it uh, kind of reminds me of the um, X-Men's plane. I can't remember what that's called off the top of my head now. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, the Golden Chicken taking some missile hits of its own right now. But uh, coming in to release a large volley as well. So I'm... Um, quite amazed at this craft's ability to hover, so that's pretty well, that's a good idea giving it that ability, like, um, unfortunately it is a sitting duck right now, but staying in the game with this, just this hover, pretty cool, still got one jet kind of intact. Oh no, it's missing half a bit further out, but that jet looks like it's kind of still functioning. So right now, not seeing... We've got a couple missiles that were not completed. We're missing modules. Looks like this first round of the matchup will be going to the Golden Chicken at this rate. Start up our one minute timer so that we can count down towards the end of this round. I uh, don't think it's really necessary, but we just do it to make sure that we're thorough and not calling it too early. Though the AI is dead now. Do we see any repair bots down here? Oh yeah, we got some repair bots going, but um, not liking its chances of getting back up in the next 30 seconds. And it looks like the golden chicken is no, is it eventually going to come around for another? No, it's ignoring salvage by the looks of things. Alright, here we go. That is it, guys. That is the minute up. So the first matchup does go to the Golden Chicken from Zionix. And uh, we will see if the Blackbird Roller can win one back in the next matchup in just a moment. Alright guys, here we go with the second round for this matchup. The Blackbird Brawler spawning in sideways this time. Do not have any spawn requests from Zionix, so might spawn it sideways in the next match if we get onto that, but uh, for now have just been spawning it forwards. And uh, it just ran into a fair few of the Blackbird's missiles in that first volley there. Uh, on a bit of a list, not sure if it's going to be going down right now or if it can pull itself out of this. At the same time we see a return volley absolutely ripping through that wing structure on the Blackbird roller here. Ooh, gotta keep a close eye on this. Currently the... Okay, yeah, the Golden Chicken has gone below 100 altitude first. We will start our timer on that one. And the Blackbird managing to keep itself hovering at a nice, I'd say about 300? Where are we? 176. While the Golden Chicken is down and in the water with about 35 seconds remaining to see if those balloons can get it back up. Though it looks like they have just been blown off. That is rather unfortunate for the Golden Chicken. So we see just an endless barrage coming in. 
from the Blackbird as it just kind of hovers there and um, hovers in weapons range, showing no mercy to the Golden Chicken here. Alright, and there we go. That was a pretty quick matchup. Um, we'll definitely be spawning the Golden Chicken on a broadside, I think, in the final match. Uh, as it did kind of just run into a lot of those missiles then, so maybe that'll make this final match a little bit fairer um, and see hopefully the winner will truly deserve it as we go on to our tiebreaker match between these two alright guys so for our tiebreaker match we've gone to a longer distance uh, though the blackbird has closed that pretty quickly and spawned the golden chicken on that broadside let's speed the action up and see what happens here with the alpha strikes coming out from both craft somehow the blackbird managing to fly through that storm of missiles now we should see some interesting action with these two kind of going side by side oh and the golden chicken just cutting across the blackbird's trail managing to avoid the majority of those missiles though one did find its way around afterwards and reconnect but that possibly could have been one of its own even it's a bit hard to tell are these so I think we had a few impacts on the side of the golden chicken just then yep got a nice little hole in there now uh, possibly lost some propulsion yes and the golden chicken is going down guys let's get our minute timer could that be it for the golden chicken in this first matchup it is deploying its balloons but it has to get to a hundred altitude and it looks like it's gonna struggle to get its tail out of the water oh no no it's up up and away so we will reset our timer Ooh. and it looks like it's gone straight on back down under the hundred so we will start that timer up again taking a fair few hits as it went down as well looks like it is not quite ready to fly unassisted by balloons just yet still shooting out that constant stream of missiles from the side though try and get a bit of a view of some of this damage coming in so we have some EMP missiles uh, some explosive missiles possibly some frags in there can't really see from that angle I do really like uh, the different behavior like, I haven't actually played with any lure aircraft yet so it's good to see like the different behavior like how the oh, and there's our minute uh, how the blackbird kind of doesn't do his long attack runs and is going nice and slow for the downed enemy that's pretty cool but uh, yeah so our first winner in this competition is the blackbird brawler from Ryation right you will be continuing in the upper bracket and unfortunately for Zionix the golden chicken will be going down into our lower bracket where it will have its second chance uh, to continue further on in this competition let's get on to our next matchup guys alright and the second contestant uh, the first contestant in the second matchup for today is someone who we didn't see in the non lure bracket this is the wolf and host from mad wand and they are going up against the lure squee from falcon 256 so a basically it looks like this is just a lure conversion of the original squee that we saw in the first non lure bracket so let's speed things up and see how this unfolds the squee spawn facing away from its opponent as requested for this matchup the second matchup will have a different orientation uh, for the wolf and host so it looks like this over here is the wolf so that's a fast laser car and the host these are the cherubims I believe and they're little fast fighters um, well I can't keep up at all 
Uh, so we will wait to see if they get into the battle to see what weapons they have. Probably missiles. So it looks like the wolf has landed a good laser hit and stopped the squeeze flight. Now we can get in and see what's actually going to happen here. Alright, so that was followed up by a massive volley of missiles from the wolf. The Lua Squee now down below 100 meters. We will start our timer. And uh, now that we're in this situation, everything's slowing down. Let's try and get a bit of a look at one of these cherubims, if we can. So yeah, they just are little little missile fighters by the looks of things as I expected. Just bring up our HUD to get... Right, so we have to restart our... Oh, yeah, 111, 19. So we, we have to restart our timer here because the Lua Squee has lifted itself above the... Um, so it doesn't have an AI anymore. Uh, just let this go for a minute. Alright, this, um, it's in play, but it is not functional at all, guys. And definitely not outpacing the destruction with its repairs right now, and we see no weapons coming out. So I am going to call this as we watch it split in half now. The first match will go to Mad Ones, the Wolf and host. Try and get a quick look at the wolf while we're here slowed down as well actually. So it's got a missile launcher on the front top and a laser on the front bottom. Both turret mounted by the looks of things so they probably have 360 degree firing capabilities. Alright let's get on to our second matchup guys. Alright guys, so for the second matchup, we've loaded the Lua Squee in at a broadside and the Wolf and Host facing directly towards it at just about a thousand meters away. So let's speed up the action here and see how this unfolds. Are any of these missiles going to catch up? Unlikely with how fast the Lua Squee is. So, um, looks like one of the Cherubims went up in flames right here uh, is that that's our wolf and by having a look at that uh, explosion I've left everything well and truly behind just try and slowly catch up and use our zoom to try and keep a bit of an eye on the action but we have explosions I think there was six cherubim to start with so we've still got five of them left Sorry about this, uh, horrible camera work, guys. Oh, they've gone pretty high by the looks of things. Though, possibly not. One of the things I've noticed, which is what made, um, spawning heights consistent in that, is because Nita, the, the map, is a planet, there actually seems to be some curvature, like when you think you're going directly across, quite often you're actually losing altitude. And it looks like the wolf and host have managed to once again converge on the lure squee. Uh, not, probably the lasers slowing it down to begin with. And then we see a lot of missiles coming in. We see a lot of blocks raining off of that right now. Uh, trying to get over here. By the looks of that, that's actually down, I would probably say. Oh no, no, it's still floating in the air. I thought it was just really far away and floating on the top of the water. Um, let's get in here. I think we're still above 100 meters. I'm pretty sure right here would be our 100 meters, I think. So our altitude yet yeah, is 122. However, we have been completely disabled here. Let it play out for a few seconds just to be a hundred percent sure. Alright, that is it guys. I'm going to call this match now. Uh, the Lua Squee 
is not repairing at a rate faster than it's being destroyed. It has no weapons, it has no propulsion. As such, I'm calling this in favour of the wolf and host. So, um, our entry from Mad One will be continuing on in the upper bracket, going on to fight the Blackbird Brawler in the next round. And the Lua Squee will be dropping down into our lower bracket where it will face off against the Golden Chicken next time around. Alright guys, for our third matchup we have the Reckless Angels from Miss Ion. Uh, might have to restart the spawn here as I did let them take off a bit. Took a little too long getting out to get a view of them. But uh, that's alright, we'll redo that. Their opponent is the desperation from Mr. Ribena. So uh, let's get this sped up and see how this action unfolds. Actually, I don't want to speed it up too quickly. I just want to see. Wow. So we got a lot of missiles coming out from the desperation here. That was cool. Uh, Should have got a screenshot of that, but uh, we can always pull it out of the video. And uh, let's speed things up now and see what happens with these missiles. So what we know from Miss Ion's usual motto is we can expect these Reckless Angels to be very fast. And wow, so that Reckless Angel that just went past the Desperation unleashing a devastating volley of missiles. And um... Uh, blowing a large part of the desperation off. It is managing to keep itself up though, a bit upside down, but it's not going down just yet. Um, unfortunately, these angels are so fast, it's kind of hard for me to keep track of them. We've got one over there and one over there. And um, But the desperation appears to be going down. Not sure what is causing that, that sound. And uh, we're having... Ooh! What happened this then? Was that a collision? I'm not 100% sure what just happened. We will see in um, looking at the recording later. But one of the... I think they collided. I think the angels collided. Oh, oh, oh. I have to see who drops below 100 first. That's... Above. That's dropping... Oh. Oh. It looks like... Yeah, I think the, um... Oh, sorry guys, the game's a bit choppy, just a lot of lure. I think that's probably what that's from. Um... Yeah, I... What is this? God, that's annoying sound effect, whatever that is. But, um... It looks like... The Reckless Angels lived up to their name and collided. So, I'm going to call this not based on timer right now, but just on function, I think. Because it was a bit hard, I'm not 100% sure who dropped below the 100 first. Um, I'll have to double check the footage just to double check. I I know that that Reckless Angel definitely dropped before the Desperation and the other one dropped slower but was actually completely demolished and that might be part of why. So it was already dead so... Oh here we go, the um, Desperation is getting up. Um, that pretty well settles that and I don't have to make the call personally now, it's gotten up back into play whereas this desperation is just trying to go straight down into the water and such we will call this first matchup in favour of the desperation though um, I would very much put that one down to luck as things were going very much in the Reckless Angel's favour until that collision, which uh, hopefully 
poor Miss Ion uh, don't get another one of them. But uh, we will see what happens in the next matchup, guys. Alright guys, for our second matchup, we have the Reckless Angels spawning in second. I decided to spawn them in opposite facing broadsides as neither of them do have requests for their orientation. And let's speed this action up and see what happens. Uh, we see the Reckless Angel that spawns on an angle firing off a quick barrage that looks like it got a pretty decent hit on the Desperation right at the beginning there. Desperation has a lot of missiles but I, even with the lure I don't think they're fast enough to catch these Reckless Angels. Um, possibly, but have not seen it yet. Here we have the Desperation, looks like it could be dropping straight on into the ocean at this point in time. Um, sorry about the lack of camera time for the Reckless Angels. Miss Ion trying to get a look here and there, but they are very fast, and um, which makes, as you know, makes keeping up with the camera very difficult. So where is our second one there? Just now that the Oh, it's pretty well disabled. The Desperation, 29%. Dropping, dropping now. I believe that is at... Yep, below 100. We will start our timer, guys. But I don't think we need it. Um, pretty confident that we could actually just call this one right now, to be honest. Uh, especially if this craft gets split fully in half. Like, there's actually not really a proper connection, I don't think. Oh, the engine. <laughs> the engine is the only thing holding that together right now. Yeah, I think that's pretty conclusive, guys. We don't need to wait out the extra 30 seconds for this minute right now. The, um, the desperation is completely destroyed here. Uh, completely disarmed. No, no propulsion, no weapons, and definitely not out repairing this onslaught from the Reckless Angels right now. So the second matchup will go to Miss Ion's Reckless Angels. We will go to a draw raker. I think as long as there's no collision, the Reckless Angels might have this one. Alright guys, for the draw raker match, done something a little bit different. We've spawned facing away from each other, but at only about 500 meters as opposed to a thousand. So uh, these guys will just face away from each other to begin with. Uh, we see the some pretty smooth maneuvering by the Desperation to head back towards its enemy, just doing a loop there. Uh, unfortunately, none of those missiles managing to land uh, that I saw. Looks like we had a couple hits on the bottom there for the Reckless Angels. And now the <laughs> the desperation just doing some loops. Um, that's that's its battle plan right now. Ooh, things have slowed down. We can get a good view of this desperate angel as it goes past, and some large explosions going out on the desperation right now. Looks like it will be all over for this craft in this bracket. So Miss Ion's submission still <laughs> suffering a little bit from uh, collisions but uh, that looks like it may have just been a one-off. I guess even with Lua when you're dealing with extremely high speeds, uh, still got to worry about that. And uh, unfortunately Mr. Rivena's The Desperation just outmatched in this matchup, but it will be going down into our lower brackets where it will face off against the loser of our next matchup, which we will be getting onto right now, guys. Alright, guys, in our final matchup, we have the mini her mother from Blothorn, and that will be going head to head with the Speedy Weenus from Tajima. So we saw this pretty much same craft in the last bracket, but this time it is equipped with Lua, so it is all the more deadly. Let's 
try to... I think we'll go into the top down view. And, uh, no, that's not working very well for us, is it? Because I have spawned them about 1500 meters apart. They both actually have pretty much identical requests. So I don't see any harm in giving them both their long range broadside for all three matches, really. And uh, it looks like... Ooh, the um, Mini Homer has red lasers by the looks of things. They're going to be a bit difficult to see from this point of view. Looks like First Blood has gone to the Mini Homer. So those are some interesting lasers. The Speedy Venus lost one of its turrets in that explosion by the looks of things, guys. Uh, wow do actually quite like those lasers. They look pretty cool. The speedy weenus going down into the water. Uh, we will start our timer. Sorry guys, didn't have that ready. There we go. And uh, what, where's it going? There it is. I thought it was diving down into the depths. Becoming, becoming, sorry there, a uh, submarine. So that was rather quick from the mini Hamada to um, disable the jets on the speedy weenus and uh, of course blowing off that turret really early we see a few missiles now coming in to finish off the downed craft let's go in here and have a quick look inside the weenus through this large hole that we have here and that is our minute timer so uh, this first matchup in this round, or first round of this matchup rather, does go to the mini her mother. <laughs> I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing that and I'm sure someone's gonna be able to tell me how well I'm doing on it. Um, unfortunately just had to look up the phonetics and doing my best with it. Um, but yeah, the mini her mother from Lothorn has won this first round. Alright guys, round two. Only thing that's changed is the Mini Hamada spawning in second this time and they've been spawned in facing the same direction as opposed to opposing directions. And as soon as I speed that up, just racing straight out of the camera, of course. We'll try to keep up with one of them this time, if possible. So we just have rapid fire lasers coming out of the Mini Hamada right now. Looks like its missiles are only set to engage at closer distances. So the idea is to disable the enemy with the lasers and finish them off with the missiles it looks like as we see. Getting in a bit closer now, a quick missile launch as the Speedy Venus puts some more distance between the two of them. Try to catch up with the camera. Ooh, they're flying into... I've been trying to spawn away from land masses but uh, they're traveling a long way hopefully they has some land avoidance no oh that was unexpected uh, I thought that the mini homola would be able to avoid land but I guess not and uh, I did spawn there was no land anywhere near in sight that's just how far these guys have traveled in this battle guys uh, looks like this one could be good well is most likely going to be going to the speedy wieners uh, just let it play out just to be a hundred percent sure though I do not see any way that um, this can be turned around Lua is not a all-powerful magic <laughs> Alright guys, it's split in half. That is um, pretty well a sign of defeat in my books. So we will be calling this second round in favour of the Speedy Weenus from Tajima. We will be going on to a final uh, final drawbreaker match between these two. And not sure how I'll spawn them. I think, just to mix things up, I'll spawn them a bit closer, but facing opposite each other, like away from each other, so that they race out and then turn around. Uh, see how that goes guys, but first I will have to move as far from this land as I can. Be right back with the next match guys. 
Alright guys, here we go with the final matchup between these two. Which fast laser craft with supporting missiles can win out? Let's find out as we speed this action up. And it looks like they've both turned in the same direction, so they will be doing another long distance side by side fight by the looks of things. Uh, hopefully we don't run into any more land like last time. See if I can manage to stay in front of the action here. Looks like the Mini Hamada turning away from the Weenus for a bit, but uh, they've straightened up, uh, continuing on this parallel almost. The missiles that the Speedy Weenus launched are falling short. Oh, we have some coming in from the Hamada. Looks like we got maybe one or two collisions there on the side no major damage as of yet try and have a quick look over here looks like the mini hamala is pretty well undamaged itself though actually no no it's not there's no lasers coming out what's going on over here looks like the lasers from the speedy weenus have caught through the side here we see that yeah there's a couple panels missing like just above where the laser turret you could make one out oh sorry guys so yeah the main weapon for the mini homoda has been disabled at this point if it cannot repair it well there we go back in the game now okay this time it looks like the speedy weenus is lasers are the ones that have been disabled and we see it doing some barrel rolls over here I wonder if that is a damage mitigation technique programmed into the lure it is just continuing to barrel roll so maybe it is that's a, an interesting and pretty good idea to um, spread the damage but uh, going down dangerously low in the water now we will start our timer wow what a drawn out um, intense long distance battle that was I wish I looked at the map to see where we started so I could show you just how far we went but uh, unfortunately that uh, didn't do that but yeah I, we must have gone a long way so now we see the missiles from the mini homo coming into play now that the weenus is finally down and uh, just taking out that top turret so um, before it could have a chance to even the playing field a bit. That was quite a matchup between these two, but it looks like the Mini Hamada has just won out in this one. Um, though the Venus was a formidable foe without Lua, so I would not be surprised if it continues a fair way in our lower bracket. That is our minute up. The Mini Hamada by Blockhorn is officially the our final winner for today and uh, we'll be going on to fight the Reckless Angels in the next round while the Speedy Weenus goes down to fight the Desperation. So here's just a quick recap of the matches from today. We had the Blackbird Brawler winning out over the Golden Chicken. The Wolf and the Host beat the Lua Squee. The Reckless Angels managed to take out the Desperation and finally the Mini Homoda beating out the Speedy Weenus. I hope you guys enjoyed the action today. If so, please hit that like button. As always, I really appreciate your uh, feedback. Uh, hopefully you guys have noticed I've taken a fair bit from the last tournament on board. Uh, took a few videos. Unfortunately, I sometimes record in a clump, so I recorded about three videos and kind of threw out that's when I had the most um, altitude issues and then hopefully you noticed in the last couple I was a lot more on the ball with that and I'm making sure to be a lot more on the ball with it in this tournament it's really unfortunate that I got that the wrong way around though because it's probably the last tournament where it was a bit more important but overall I don't think it may change the overall outcome of that tournament too much and um, it is kind of something that should be factored in um, in craft design being able to control itself a little bit I guess it's kind of a depends how you look at it kind of a thing but yeah um, hope you guys like today's action um, 
and I will see you guys in our next round, which will be the uh, lower bracket. Until then, guys, have fun building in from the deck.